removing the soil. some of the bottom leaves that we don't need here near the root system. Okay. And here I'm just gonna delicately lay that in there. Kind of just turn it around. Balls right on top. And today we are building a deep water culture hydroponic system. So in here I have about four gallons of reverse osmosis water and I have enough just to basically come about one inch above the bottom of the net pot here that will fit right on top. So I'm gonna, um, I'm gonna add a product right here, SLF 100 enzymes helps break down salts, eats organic matter, keeps fungus gnats at bay. The good bacteria outcompetes the bad. So in case your water gets too warm, in case you do get any kind of mold or fungi in there, it will keep the bad from breaking out. So that is in there. Now I have a little fungi. This is a mycorrhizae. Doing about a half table, half teaspoon here. This one's called Great White. Got several species of fungi. Also, just helps break down the uh, nutrients. And I just try to make sure I get a, a really good stir on every product that I put in here, so I don't have any kind of clash from anything sitting in one spot while it's concentrated. This is a pharmaceutical grade nutrient. There's an A and a B. So we're growing kale and a real small kale right now. So we really don't need that much nutrient for this plant. For 10 liters. I just want about 10. I don't want any more than 10. I don't really need it. And you, and you gotta do equal parts when there's an A and a B. There's 10, almost 10. I'm gonna stick with that, go on the light side. One important thing is to always make sure that you rinse out your cylinder. After the nuclear B in here right now without rinsing it, I'll get a chemical lockout. Make sure you always do equal parts. You can never use one more than the other. Unless you know something I don't know. <laughs> All right, so we have beneficials. We have nutrients. At this point, I would like to uh, pH the water, make sure we're on point so that the uh, plant can uptake the nutrient as well as possible. If our pH is too high or too low, it can't use the light, can't use the nutrients that you're giving it, and you could have a, a stunted plant when everything was right, but your pH was wrong. So this is just a little easy pH test solution fill almost half the cylinder up, put about three drops in there, and we get a color. There's a scale on the bottom, on the bottle that tells you, generally hydroponics for most plants, you want right around 5.7 to 5.9. It's kind of the sweet zone, and that's right where we are. Right there, nice bright yellow looking color. We don't even have to adjust it, I love it. Probably because the, the low amount of nutrients. All right, now we'll complete the bucket. Just have right here a hydro basket. Fits right on top of a five gallon bucket. I'm gonna drill a quarter inch hole here. Here we 
we have an air pump. This will connect to a air stone. Airstone will go in the bottom of the bucket. Of course, it's weighted. Get a shot of that. And that is actively aerating the water. Therefore, when the roots do grow out of the clay pebbles, oxygen in the water will keep the roots from rotting and these this plant will grow in straight water the definition of hydroponics that is your five gallon DWC or deep water culture bucket